How big of a trolling motor should you buy for your boat? Good morning, guys and girls. August 27, August 27. We're going to be looking at Romans 10, 11. And Romans 10 and 11 says, as the scripture says, anyone who trusts in him will never be disappointed. You ever been disappointed? I get disappointed all the time. But Romans 10, 11 says, as the scripture says, anyone who trusts in him will never be disappointed. What in the world could I write about that? All right, here's what I wrote. Our fishing equipment has become so reliable. I have many reels that are several years old and thousands and thousands of hours fishing on them. They still cast really well. They work great. I trust them in any tournament that I fish. What about people? What about people? How many folks do we know who never disappoint us? Not many, if any. But I have a God I can trust in every single situation. All the time. All the time. He's never let me down before, and he never will in the future. I need him the most when the people that I do trust let me down, and they do. We fail and we disappoint one another, and that's a sin that's in us. When that happens, run to God as quickly as you can. He's always ready with comfort for your hurts. You know, uh, it seems like that people disappoint you almost on a daily basis. Sometimes the people that you love the most disappoint you the most. And I guess that just kind of comes with the territory right there. But, you know, if you trust in God, and you, and, you know, trusting God means trusting God with, with everything. Trusting Him with your, your family, trusting Him with your marriage, trusting Him with your job, trusting Him with eternity, eternity. Uh, all of this stuff that we've gone through this year with the virus and churches closing down and the attacks on Christianity, the attacks on the churches, and, and the churches closing down was mandated by a lot of government officials who, uh, they're anti-God. I mean, they really are. And uh, they don't want you worshiping God. They don't want you trusting God. They don't want you depending on God. They want you afraid. They want you afraid. Well, if you really trust God, you're not going to be afraid. You're not going to be afraid. All right, let's see our tip for today. Buy a more powerful trolling motor than you think you will need. <laughs> How big a trolling motor do you need? Well, however big you think it is, buy one that's bigger than that. Get the strongest trolling motor that you can. Uh, you know, most of the time, you're not going to run your trolling motor on wide open full speed. You know, on our big Ranger boats, we use a big 36 volt trolling motor. We use three 12 volt Superstart batteries, 36 volts. It's got like 112 uh, pounds of thrust to it. But you know, I just have got me a brand new Tracker 175. I fish out of a Tracker 195 a lot with 150 horsepower Mercury on it, but I just got one with a 90, uh, 75 horsepower Mercury on it. And, uh, and it's a Tracker 175, a little 17 foot boat, a really, really nice bass boat. It's the most popular selling boat that Tracker has. And, uh, and, and it comes with a, with a trolling motor, but I put, I changed that trolling motor out and put a Maxim on there, a Minn Kota Maxim. And it's the, the most thrust I could get without moving up to a 36 volt because you want a lot of power. If you get stuck on a stump out there, if you get in a situation where the wind's blowing really, really hard, there's a lot of sometimes you, 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 you know, you hit a stump and mess your lower unit up or you, you, you bang a prop up and you can't run your big motor and you have to use that trolling motor to maybe go, I've gone actually miles on a trolling motor uh, after a breakdown of some sort, you know, I've knocked lower units off and, uh, and, all, and you didn't have a lower unit or a trolling motor or, any, or, or, or a big motor or anything on there. So you had to use your trolling motor to get back to safety. So in doing that, you want to get the strongest, the best and the biggest trolling motor you can for whatever type boat. Now, you're not going to put now 112 uh, pound thrust on a little 17 and a half foot tracker boat, but you got a big boat. Use as big a trolling motor as you possibly can. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. Remember, this day is what you make it. 
This day is what you make it. You can make it a great day. You can make it a horrible day. You can make it just another day, but make it a great one. And remember, I love you.